Hello Windows Universe. In this video we will look at some things you can try if you have a red cross X on Wi-Fi or the network icon in Windows. For a more in-depth look at the issue, be sure to check out the article we link in the description. Run the network diagnostics. Let's open a run box and type in ncpa.cpl and click OK. Right click on the network that is giving you trouble and click on Diagnose. If it is possible, the diagnostic will correct the problem. Let's look at disabling and enabling the network drivers. To do this, open the device manager. Then look for network adapters. Right click on the driver that is giving you trouble and select disable device. If prompted, click yes. Then go back to the same driver and click on enable device. Right click on it, then select update driver and choose search automatically. Then restart your system and see if the problem is resolved. Next, we can look at enabling the Wi-Fi. Open a run box and type in ncpa.cpl and click OK. Right click on the Wi-Fi connection and if it is not, then click on enable the connection. Restart your system and see if this corrects the problem. Then we can look at automating the WLAN auto config. To do this, we're going to have to go to services. Then look for WLAN auto config. Double click on it. If the startup type is not already set to automatic, then change it to automatic. Then click on apply and OK. Next, go to Network Connections. Double click on it. If it is not already set to automatic, set it to automatic as well. If the service status is set to stopped, then click on Start, click Apply, and click OK. While we're in services, let's check and see if these services are running and set to automatic. Look for TCP IP Net BIOS Helper Service. Make sure that it is set to automatic, that it's running, apply OK. Then we want to look at DHCP. Double click. Once again, make sure that it is running, that it's set to automatic. Then go to DNS Client, Automatic, Running, Function Discovery Resource Publication. Automatic, make sure that's running, apply, OK. SSDP discovery, double click, make sure it's set to automatic, apply, OK. Then restart your system and see if the problem is then resolved. If you are still having problems, then look at whether or not your security software is interfering. It is possible that your antivirus considers it a security threat. Disable your security temporarily and see if the red X goes away. If it does, then you might need to adjust your security software to allow the network connection. Remember to turn your security software back on after testing this. For more helpful articles to help you maximize your Windows experience, go to our website, thewindowsclub.com. Do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel where we are always adding new content aimed at making you the master of your digital house. Thanks for watching and have a great day.